All right, everyone, I'm officially back. Welcome to the Juice Alert once again. My name is Javon McKinney. I'm now going to make my official playoff predictions in the AFC for the 2022-2023 NFL season. So, look, in no particular order, these are the seven teams that I believe are going to make the playoffs. I believe the Buffalo Bills, the Denver Broncos, the Los Angeles Chargers, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Indianapolis Colts, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Baltimore Ravens are going to make the playoffs this season in 2022-2023. I think the Baltimore Ravens are the worst team out of these seven, you know, just because, well, maybe not the worst. I would probably say Indianapolis or Baltimore. Those are the two teams I have the least confidence in when it comes to them being in the playoffs just because I don't think Baltimore has the wide receiver core that they need to get them over the hump. Lamar Jackson is a different quarterback, at least up to this point in his career. He's proven to be a different quarterback in the regular season compared to the playoffs. But last year, the Baltimore Ravens, the reason why they did not make the playoffs last year was because they were the most injury-riddled team in the entire NFL. Injuries to Lamar Jackson, the offensive line, the defense, the wide receiver core. They had just too many injuries to overcome uh, so many things in a very tough AFC conference. I believe they'll be back in the playoffs. As you can notice, I have four new playoff teams this year. Broncos, Chargers, Colts, and Ravens. I think the Ravens get in. I already talked about them. Um, the Colts, I think they win their division this year. I don't think the Colts are necessarily a Super Bowl contender, but I do believe by default they will win that division. It's not a very good division. Jacksonville will be improved, but they're not a great team. The Houston Texans are once again the Houston Texans. And the Tennessee Titans lost a lot of talent. And I think their roster overall is just overrated from a talent perspective to begin with. I'm not a big Ryan Tannehill fan. So I will say I think the Colts are a very complete team. They're going to be led by Matt Ryan, who I'm not very high on. But I will say Matt Ryan is an upgrade over Carson Wentz just because Matt Ryan, he's going to win you the games that you should win. He's not going to put your defense in harm. He's going to take care of the football. He's a good decision maker with the football. I think that he's the type of quarterback that Frank Wright is looking for. The defense is very good. Jonathan Taylor might be the best running back in all of football. I think the Colts make it in. The Chargers were the best team in the NFL last year. That did not make the playoffs, in my opinion. Justin Herbert is an, is an elite quarterback from a talent perspective. I don't think he's in the elite category quite yet, but from a talent perspective, there's no box that he does not check, okay? And the Chargers, they've improved their defense. They once again had a very good draft. I think Brandon Staley will improve as a head coach this year. I don't know if the Chargers are a Super Bowl contender quite yet, but I think they're going to win a lot of games in the regular season. Russell Wilson is now the starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos. This is a guy that nine of the last ten years has had a winning record. Russell Wilson, I don't think he's fallen off a cliff. I still believe he's definitely at worst a top ten quarterback. Denver has the pieces on offense and defense to make it work. I have some questions about Nathaniel Hackett as a head coach, but I believe Denver can get in. Now, Cincinnati... Kansas City and Buffalo, those are the three teams that made the playoffs last year that I believe once again are make that I believe once again are gonna make it to the playoffs once again. Anytime you have the best quarterback in the entire NFL, you have a chance to make the playoffs. That guy is Patrick Mahomes. I don't quite think the Chiefs are gonna do all too well once they get to the playoffs, but they should be there. They have enough pieces around Mahomes. They improved the defense a little bit. They did lose Tyree Kill, but Patrick Mahomes is a special quarterback. Like I said, Andy Reid might be the best head coach in all football. I think Bill Belichick has kind of fallen off a cliff a little bit. You know, there's a conversation to be had for Sean McVay, but Andy Reid is definitely still an elite coach. Cincinnati. Cincinnati improved their offensive line which was the weakness of their team last year. They were in the Super Bowl last year, and they improved the worst unit of that team last year. Joe Burrow's a real quarterback. I believe he's in the elite category already. The weapons are unbelievable. The defense is more than solid. Cincinnati should be in the playoffs. And last but not least, the Buffalo Bills, you know, maybe arguably the most complete team in all of football from the quarterback, the head coach, the run game, the weapons on offense at wide receiver and tight end, and the defense. Von Miller is a huge addition to this team. The defense was already loaded. Now you add another pass rusher to a great defensive line already. You know, I think Buffalo, this might be their year to win the Super Bowl. If the Buffalo Bills don't at least get to a Super Bowl, I would consider it very disappointing. But overall, yeah, there's a lot of special right here. You know, teams that didn't make the playoffs, in my opinion, 
Miami Dolphins, sorry, not a believer in Mike McDaniel as a head coach, not a believer in Tua Tagovailoa as a quarterback. And head coach and quarterback combination is the most important thing in the NFL right now when deciding who's going to win and lose games. If you don't have the head coach right and you don't have the quarterback right, you're going to struggle. And I just think that Miami, from a talent perspective, their roster is very good. But the two most important boxes, I don't think they check. I really don't, at least compared to these other teams. The Patriots, you know, I talked about how these teams are special. The Ravens, the Bengals, the Colts, the Chiefs, the Chargers, the Broncos, the Bills. These are dynamic rosters with special players. The Patriots, it's a lot of average. It's a lot of very good, but not a whole lot of dynamic pieces. I think Bill Belichick's strategy and Overall philosophy is very outdated. Mac Jones is a good quarterback, but he's not a quarterback that can carry you to the playoffs. They lost some key pieces on defense. The wide receiver core is not very good. I'm not confident in the Patriots this year, but those to me are the nine teams that really matter. I think Miami and New England can maybe sneak in, but I don't believe in them. Pittsburgh, I really don't believe in believe in them this year either. I don't think they have the quarterback to get them over the hump this year, even though Mike Tomlin's a very good coach. But, yeah, those are the seven teams that I believe will make the playoffs in the AFC in 2022-2023.